what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog I am so excited about today's vlog you have no idea I mean I'm sure you guys can tell by the title but I'm so freaking excited but it is currently 206 I finished work exactly six minutes ago and we're headed out to run some errands I have to return some stuff at Marshall's and we need a lot of groceries we like have no produce or anything so we're gonna go to Walmart and Whole Foods you guys already know the drill. I go to Whole Foods to get like my certain dairy-free foods and then me just go to Walmart to get like produce and stuff. Also, is anyone like me and lactose intolerant and like if there's no dairy in the house, I'm fine. I don't crave it. But as soon as there's dairy in the house, I want to eat it. Like, I don't know what it is. If there's no dairy in the house, I don't want it. Like, I don't crave cheese. But then if I see cheese, I want it. So having dairy-free alternatives in the house really helps me. So I need to go pick those things up and Whole Foods is the only place I can get that. And I'm kind of hoping maybe they have some fun fall pumpkin things, but we'll see when we go. Really fun things to do later on tonight. I'm waiting for the package to show up. I was waiting around the house to see if it would get here because I just didn't really want to be on the step, but I think it'll be fine. Um, so we're gonna go run our errands, come home, and then hopefully the package is waiting for us and we can yeah, I'll talk about it after, but you guys can already tell by the title what we're doing. So, let's go run some errands. I'll bring you guys along, do a grocery haul, have a fun little afternoon. And yeah, let's get into the vlog. Time to pick a podcast. I'll probably listen to Unlocking the Magic. And then also time to pick a mask. 2020 things. This is a new mask I got at the farmer's market. Um, who's surprised? I love it so much. It's my current favorite. So, that's the mask of the day if you're wondering. And I'm going to listen to Unlocking the Magic. I would do a grocery haul for you guys because I know you guys love these so much and I'm finally doing one that's like a big grocery haul I feel like I feel like when I do them I'm always just like picking up a few things but this is like an actual like solid grocery haul for us I'll start with Walmart so I got bananas um, I just got two lemons like full lemon water I picked up a, this nail polish because I really wanted like a fall color I didn't know this was plant-based it's so cool and the color is soothing slate i don't know i just wanted something kind of like matte grayish so i got that it was on sale um super exciting because activity just activity just came out with a dairy free yogurt which is exciting um okay matt and i saw the whole pepper cream cheese tiktok thing we wanted to try so i got this whipped chive cream cheese for him and then just like his typical three for ten yogurts like the oikos ones which aren't that exciting got some peppers got some strawberries and some cucumbers and then they had these super cute pumpkins and they were $2.97 and I get all of these. So that's cute. They also had white ones too. I wish they had like a mix pack, but it was like orange or white. So we're going to figure out where to put those, but those are so cute. And then onto Whole Foods, which this is just kind of like my staple dairy-free stuff that I love. Keep in mind that Whole Foods in the U.S. probably have a way better selection, but this is like one of my favorite treat foods and it was on sale, which it never is. So I was so, I was so excited to get this. Guys, diet never usually hits the spot, but they hit the spot on this cheesecake. You literally can't even tell that it's plant-based or gluten-free. It's so, so good. So, strawberry's my favorite one, um, but that's just like my nice little treat. Um, Chloe talks about this all the time. You guys know I love free. I also love this brand. I've had their, um, I don't know what it is. Like, they have a chive one. I really like it, and Chloe says that their brie cheese is really good, so I'm going to give this a go. I love anything cashew-based, um, so maybe we'll try that after. I got Matt some blueberries because they were on sale at Whole Foods. Same thing with grapes. I got grapes at Whole Foods. Um, just want, picked up a fresh loaf of bread to have. I love fresh bread. Whole Foods it's, hits the dang spot. If you need to know, sourdough is my favorite bread. Uh, love any kind of Silver Hills products. I love the bread and the bagels. And we were out of bagels. The bagels are like one of those things for me that I just pick up whatever I see. Um, so I just got their Sprouted Power Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. Y'all know I love cinnamon raisin. So just got that. A little bit on the cleaner side than like just you know some sun-made raisin bread these are some of my favorite dips you guys already know I've literally been eating this for years it's so good it's like a cream cheese it's cashew based I love it um, then I picked this up we got this last time and it was so so good um, garlic and onion dip I think it's love this to dip veggies in um, this one's definitely like a more runnier dip consistency and this is like an actual cream cheese consistency and then I saw this I was going to pick up hummus anyways, and then I saw they had a roasted garlic and spinach one, which I love spinach dips, so I'm really excited to try this out. I'll let you guys know how that is. 
obviously just got two of our favorite cold brews which are the station ones um and then this which once again i'm gonna put a trigger warning here i find this way too sweet and personally i don't like to drink my calories like i just i hate sugar in my coffee so instead of actually drinking the pumpkin spice latte which this is like ready to drink i actually froth a little bit up and put it on top of my cold brew it also makes it last it also makes it last a lot longer so pro tip i'm not saying there's anything wrong with drinking it as is because that's how you're supposed to but I just don't like it that sweet, so I just froth a little bit. So that's my grocery haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of it away, and then we'll see what we get up to. Is this? I went to Marshalls to return something, and I picked this up. It's just a silicone counter organizer because it just like hangs in the sink, and then our soap like always has like water. So I just got this little thing for here. So we'll do that after. fair if I showed you guys how I make my little pumpkin cold brew with the Calafia. I just thought it was only fair. I mean, I only have a little bit of cold brew left, so I was like, you know what, it's only like two and a half cups of coffee, not three, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make it and show you guys what I mean by like not drinking it, but frothing it. The cold brew here, this is just homemade cold brew. We have our pumpkin spice cold, we have our pumpkin spice latte cold brew. I just like this amount. Um, like I said, I find it really sweet, and then I'm just gonna froth it and put it in here. And now we have a beautiful, healthier pumpkin spice latte. Current state of my kitchen from doing groceries. So I'm gonna clean all this up, drink my coffee. I just need to get shit done, you know? So Matt and I got Bonica for my zit and then I realized I was human and everyone else has zit so I'm not covering up my zit. And so if you're thinking about covering up your zit, don't because we all have them. Anyway, that's besides the point. Matt and I were thinking about espressos and we were kind of talking about it briefly. We are obviously coffee connoisseurs, like we have a Keurig, a pour over, a French press, like we do it all. But the one thing I said that I was still going to Starbucks for was like Americanos and stuff. We love Americanos. And so we kind of started looking at getting an espresso. I started asking people at work if they had one and what they thought. And then Matt came home from work and was like, literally everyone has one and loves it. And honestly, most of the jobs I'm applying for are work from home. And ideally in the winter, I don't want to be going out to get coffee. And obviously I'm super fortunate and lucky enough that we could get one. And we actually just got our last payment of our pandemic pay, which I don't even need to justify this, I know, but it's it's a bad habit. Um, which basically we got like a top up of $4 an hour and then an extra $150 a month that we worked throughout COVID. So we got our last payment on Friday and it paid for our whole Disney trip in February, fingers crossed that we get to go. And then I had a bit extra and I was gonna just save it and put towards my student loans. And I was like, you know what? Matt and I work super, super hard and Matt works really, really hard and he's just starting another job too. He picked up a casual job on the side of working full time just to save more for a house. And so I wanted to find a way to treat him. Obviously, I found a way to treat him. And so I'm surprising him with an espresso. And we've obviously been talking about it, but I definitely don't think he thinks that I'm gonna just like have one one day. We were talking about getting one used, but like the thought of getting a coffee machine used kind of like grosses me out a little. I was just looking the other day, kind of trying to see when they go on sale. And then I got a notification from Honey, which if you guys don't have Honey, you need it. It's just like a Chrome um, extension. And it just like lets you know when things go on sale and like finds you discount codes. And it told me that there was a $40 price drop on Amazon and I looked and I bought it right away. Thank God for Amazon because it literally got here just now. And I'm super excited. So I got everyone's opinion on which one to get and we got the Virtuo. She's so beautiful. Are you excited too? Are you so excited that mommy and daddy got a new coffee machine? Yeah, do you want to try to get this one because it can do like the coffee as well? We didn't order any pods from Nespresso yet, so let me know down below what pods you guys love best. I know it comes with like 12 or so, so um, let me know down below what pods you guys got my beautiful Halloween decorated coffee stand. Just gonna have to probably have some fixing up. I'll, um, we'll see, and then I'm going to just empty this out and put all the straws in a drawer and then put our Nespresso pods in here because. Oh, 
you. Okay, there's definitely enough room in the middle for. Do I want it this way or here? like that? So we can do a little focus. Look at this over here. I set it up. Well, not set it up. I haven't like turned it on or read any of the instructions. I just put it there basically. But look how cute it is. It looks super, super cute. I actually kind of prefer this than the little wood thing. But open the like pods, see what pods are in here, and then put them in our like little basket. I just kept like my our Keurig things in here because it'll be like a communal pod bin. But let's open this and I'll show you guys which ones are in here. Like I said, let me know down below which you guys which ones you guys love the most. Well, I'm so excited to see which ones are in here. I hope the ones I've asked for are in here oh okay are these the flavors they have i think so i saw they have a pumpkin one and i'm stoked i know that oh my god even the pods are just like gorgeous what the heck okay does it say oh it says on which ones okay so we got a columbia i'm excited what's this one bianca forte so oh they put the flute outs on it that's so cool jot Sorry, I'm just, and then this is like an actual coffee because it's like, you see the size difference? Like size difference on that, you see? Okay, wow, I'm so excited, guys. Okay, so, um, wow, this is amazing. This is the best day ever. Holy fuck, babe. <laughs> Hey guys, I kind of look like a mess because I just showered, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it is a bit shorter than usual and I'm sorry, but I definitely wanted to make this into a separate vlog and show you guys. I just think it is such a fun day. I wanted to vlog it for you guys and I hope you guys understand. Matt's not home yet. He's coming home from work now, but if I do get it on video, I'll put it before this. You would have already seen it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!